everybody Chris here so this is the mystery NASA lube and it is called TSI 301 and I have no association with this product at all I am simply a consumer and when I learned about it I bought some and then when I used it it's fantastic so here's a little bit about it when I did a Google search looking for uh, high-tech lubricants uh, this showed up and then so uh, I saw that there were some forums and the forums were about fishermen and how they when they I guess you know some about reels that they this the quicker a reel spins the, the I guess the further they can cast out their uh, fishing line so I went to the forums and I started reading uh, what lubricants do they recommend and so here's a couple of posts that I saw that really intrigued me I found this uh, one forum post and it was comparing a TS301, TSI301 with Extreme Real Plus. And it talks about how this stuff will last 6 to 12 months, where the other stuff will last just 1 to 2 weeks. They were comparing, in this posting, to another product called Corrosion X. And it said here that uh, TSI321, which is a similar product uh, that they designed for plastic applications, that it lasted twice as long as the other product. And further with, uh, went on and on with some other posts that uh, uh, in this trade that they've pretty much experimented with all the different lubricants that are out there, uh, trying for every advantage that they can get. And th TSI301 stood out above the others in performance. So then that really piqued my interest and I uh, went to YouTube. There's some YouTube channels of people demonstrating uh, how th TSI 301 works. So watch this video. Spinning this reel and this whole video is just nothing but that thing spinning. Look at that. So I'm thinking, hey, this would be great for action centers and a piano. Look at that. Still going. Isn't that amazing? So, anyways, then I went to their website. It's very simple. And it's got some very valuable information. And uh, so I went to this comparison page. They're comparing their product to WD-40. What interested me was the coefficient of friction. At 100 PSI, the friction was 0 0.0817 compared to the WD-40. The uh, friction value is 0 0.122. So it says here, the coefficient of friction measures the ability of a lubricant to reduce friction between two solid surfaces. The lower the coefficient of friction, the better the friction reducing ability. The other interesting thing was breakdown voltage <laughs> how it works TSI 301 sinks into the pores of metal very little is required even when it appears to be dry it is there it creates a thin film which tends to uproot corrosion or contaminants it bonds itself to the surface of the metal through physical absorption reducing surface tension practically eliminating friction and reducing wear. It does not build up into a gummy deposits. So at this point, uh, after seeing the video of its performance and reading the uh, description of the product and its chemical properties, I was sold. There's another lubricant out there that's being uh, really popular right now being used, and that is about $45 an ounce, believe it or not. This stuff is $4 an ounce. I think it's a win-win. I just love this stuff. I've been using it now on uh, several actions. I highly recommend it. Uh, a friend of mine is using the 321. Uh, he loves it. Anyways, uh, I think I found a product that I just don't think can be beat. And it does its job very well. It uh, Now, when it comes to action centers, there's really two, two problems with action centers. One, it's just too tight, needs to be repinned. And the other one is a contaminant problem. And the, this fixes any contaminant problem, for sure. Uh, as you saw in my other video, 
I had a hammer that went from three swings. I put a couple drops on this and it went right back to about seven to eight, nine swings. So absolutely incredible stuff. And here it's a month later, still great.